Hi guys, Kelsey and I coming to you tonight. Um, just real quick because uh, we keep getting the same question um, as everyone's, you know, real excited about her puppy. And uh, they're asking, you know, about the birthing process and everything. And just wanted to touch on something that's one of my, I'm sorry, um, personal kind of like I stick by it. Um, I'm very uh, adamant about it and a lot of breeders don't do this and you know what that's your choice your puppy absolutely um, but as far as for me and my house no, um, no for me and my babies um, we always have a head count so I always know how many um, I'm sorry this is so shaky oh, it's kind of hard to hold Okay, if I can get my chin right, it would be good. Okay, um, so we always know how many puppies are going to be born. And the reason that's so important um, is, and this is, you know, per the vet um, told us this when we started breeding, um, you need to have as many puppies. Um, we need to know how many puppies are due, which in this case is one, so this will be a lot simpler uh, video to talk about just one when you get into bigger litters there's a whole bunch of added things you need to do um but uh so we know we're expecting one puppy and we also need one whole intact placenta to come out and the reason for that oh kelsey we were matching she's not showing off her little matching collar <laughs> we were playing matchies today there it is Oh, <laughs> okay. The reason it's so important is um, because uh, so the puppy comes out, yay, puppy, okay, it's a boy, it's a girl, break the sack, suction, you know, clamp the umbilical cord. Um, we actually, um, and y'all are probably going to make fun of me for this, but we actually tie off the umbilical cords with not mint, just regular, like non-flavored, not mint, um, uh, dental floss. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit thinking they fooled me at the hospital and gave me some medicine that was a little stronger than they said it was. Um, but anyway, I'm still here, so no worries. Um, and I lost what I was saying. Ugh, maybe I'm not here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's good to laugh at yourself though. Um, so we tie it off with uh, dental floss and um, anyway, the reason it's so important, a lot of um, breeders believe that um, the mother needs to eat the placenta. I'm not trying to gross you out, but we're talking about birthing, so it is what it is. <laughs> um, it doesn't gross me out. Sorry, if it grosses you out, you don't have to watch. Um, by all means, I won't be offended. Uh, so the reason it's so important for, um, let's say she was having three. So we need three puppies and three placentas to come out. And some breeders think that it upsets their digestive system to eat the placenta. But, um, a lot of breeders, um, it, it, it what the vet will tell you is it actually promotes like, oh, um, natural, like hormones and it kicks in like that natural hormones of like motherly instincts and things like that um and milk production uh now if you're having a litter of say 12 you know on like a standard uh size do um, dog or puppy or something they don't need to eat all 12 um and so sure yes limit the amount that they eat you know she doesn't notice one here great pull it and chunk it um but, you know, especially with, like, just one, we are going to let her go ahead and have that if she goes ahead and eats it. If not, it's not like we force feed it or anything. Um, but the reason it's so very important, so, so, so important, um, is every puppy and every placenta per puppy has to come out. Otherwise, um, it can cause, um, like, an intrauterine, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of the word. Um, it's a postnatal infection. Um, I believe it's called acute. Hmm, a 
acute metritis. Mastitis is when it's the milk in the breast. So yes, acute metritis. And basically what happens is, um, long story short, what's going to happen if you have 12... Hey, hey, hey! There's bunnies breeding over there. <laughs> You can hear the cage. They're serious. Um, so what happens is, let's say she has 12 puppies, but only 11 placentas come out. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly what acute metritis is speaking of, but what happens is the um, it will poison the mama. Well, first it'll poison the mama's milk, which will poison the puppies. So the puppies die. Then, and we don't even like to say those words, but that's what happens. And then it will poison the mama, and the mama will die. Total loss. So your mama's gone. Your puppies are gone. Total loss. It's just silly. It's silly, guys, to not get that head count x-ray. It's 65 to 85 dollars. Please don't riddle me that you can't afford that when you're a breeder. Um, you know, we should all have emergency funds for things like that. And that's not even an emergency thing. That's just go by the tie date. Don't x-ray until it's safe, which is really close to when they're due. Um, you know, we, we go by seven days. Um, I think you can do maybe 11 it's a little push in it. Um, you can do ultrasounds anytime. That's fine. Ultrasound to confirm pregnancy. Um, you can get an idea of the size of the puppies from the ultrasound. But um, x-ray for the head count and know how many puppies your mama is going to have. And make sure that that many puppies come out and that many placentas come out. Um, you don't want to enter uterine infection. And you don't want that acute metritis uh, you don't want mastitis either. That's when they're, um, well, that's another story. So we won't get into that. Um, so anyway, that's the importance of head count x-rays and why we do them and the risks in not doing them. And little Kelsey is just, she's panting away, but she's not nesting right now. She's just sleeping. Um, and that's another reason why people are probably like, why is this crazy lady expecting a puppy and yet running errands with her dog in tow? Well, that's why, because I'm going to be there on site, you know, all the time, every time, every single time a puppy is due. Um, and especially, obviously, when they're born, I'm going to be there to make sure that all of those things go safely. And uh, I believe that's it. I've talked way more than I planned. Probably the medication. I apologize. So anyway, I hope that was somewhat informative. Um, it was kind of boring. But anyway, uh, we just, we had the same question from, you know, these eagerly awaiting customers, which is super exciting to me. So thank you guys. And thank you for your patience. I know we've had um, some of y'all waiting a year and we just so greatly appreciate your patience with this. And that puppy will come out. It's just, it's nature. You know, the last, uh, uh, yes, I will go into one more topic really quick. The last 48 hours of pregnancy, is all about the puppy's lung development. So if you that puppy is born early, or if you call a C-section, um, I literally had a vet look me in the face one time and say, oh, did those puppies I did a C-section on make it? And I said, no. And they, he goes, oh yeah, I knew. We took him out too early. I'm like, really? Like, I, I wish I had that on camera, but the reason, um, that, you know, you wait and like I am right now, sleep deprive yourself, um, and, and everything and wait for nature to take its time is because that last 48 hours is all about lung development. So if your puppies are born early for whatever reason, or if, you know, um, a vet decides to do a c-section too early or something like that it's basically like you are dropping an anvil 
an anvil on the puppy's chest. It's not going to be able to breathe. Its lungs are going to be full of fluid, which I've personally, <laughs> there is no CPR mask for puppies. So I've suctioned out of them with my mouth, with the bulb, with tubes, um, every which way you could. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're going to be so full of fluid that all of those things I just mentioned aren't even going to help. Um, they're just going to, their lungs are going to be too full of fluid because they're not developed enough. So uh, that's what the last 48 hours of pregnancy is about. And that is what she's cooking her little bun in the oven. And that's why we're being patient. And we will see you next time with Kelsey's little baby. Say bye, Kelsey. She's like, whatever, you made me go on errands. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, I can't really wave very well right now because it hurts. But stay rawhide free and uh, keep those tails wagging, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great evening. And possibly in the morning, we'll have great news. Bye, guys. Thank you.